proud ruins of the Roman Forum rise before you. These stones and columns are the historic remains of the golden epoch of ancient Rome. Originally, the area in which the world-famous Forum Romanum is located today was an overgrown swampland. Today, these relics are scattered around what was once the heart of the mighty Roman Empire, which for so long dominated Europe. Although the former Senate building, the Curia Iulia, was commissioned by Caesar, the exterior of the building originates from Diocletian. The first structure was destroyed by fire, and in 283 AD, Diocletian ordered the construction of a new building to take its place. Since the beginning of the 3rd century, the majestic and impressive Septimus Severus Arch has maintained its function as an architectural expression of triumph. The upright columns of the Rostra platform, the central seat of power, seem to underline the importance of rhetoric in ancient Rome. Several ruins bring to life the former glory and splendor of Rome, such as the Temple of Vespasian and Titus. The collapse of the Roman Empire brought with it the gradual decay of several of its temples and churches. Some only managed to survive when they were incorporated into Christian churches and fortresses. The poor condition of these ancient buildings makes it easy to forget the former magnificence of this place that was once the centre of the Roman Empire. However, political power also had its disadvantages. At one time, the Forum Romanum was the scene of various intrigues and savage murders. At the zenith of empire, the arts, science and countless newly discovered skills flourished to a degree of sophistication that until then was without equal. Within the interior of the Curia, with its two side pedestals, was the seat of the Roman Senate in which there was room for 300 senators who had been democratically chosen by the people. The Romans worked on their buildings, plus the remains of all the post-Christian epochs, 
with great enthusiasm and diligence. It is impossible to ignore these impressive remnants of the past. Ancient inscriptions on stone slabs tell of the great deeds of Rome's ruling hierarchy. In 148 AD, Antonius Pius ordered the building of this temple for his dead wife Faustina, whom he loved dearly. Following the death of Antonius Pius, the Senate ordered that the building should commemorate him. Part of the temple was subsequently transformed into a church. Also, the temple of Romulus, who it is believed built a temple for the protective god of family and state, the Penates, has since become a church. From the 6th century, Christianity stimulated the reconstruction of the temples and thus followed the rapid decay of the Forum. During following centuries, many ruins were covered by sediment and swamp. Ancient Rome and all its glory seemed to have been forgotten for several years. Huge buildings, such as the Maxentius Basilica, named after the Emperor Constantine, are still recognisable today. This building, that dates back to the first half of the 4th century, is almost 35 metres high and represents the climax of the Roman art of building. Regardless of its poor condition, the basilica has managed to retain its majestic dignity. It was only at the beginning of the 19th century that interest in ancient Rome returned with well-organised archaeological excavations. From 1898, archaeologists worked their way through to the oldest and deepest foundations. With these new discoveries, the old character of the Forum Romanum as the centre of the Roman Empire was returned to the glorious light of day.